Uh, All right, so we am here with uh, Clem again here today. <laughs> well, this is so exciting day on a Sunday day, which is trying to tell me what's going on right here on the on the system. It said they are <laughs> so happy because pretty soon they're gonna go off grid. Folks, you remember this place right here? So you see this guy. You remember the tough guy off the roof? <laughs> so he's so excited. It's cloudy, being uh, slammed by. All this bad weather, but come what, what we have there, what's coming up for power right now? Well, just just today we probably had sun maybe three hours, two hours, three hours. And right now this one is at six, which is the which is the least producer. This one is at nine and that one's at one. So So what how many watts coming in and how much you already generated? Uh, today we have basically uh, one kilowatt here. Okay. So a thousand watts. And and uh, we've got one point. Uh, let's see, no, not one point five. We got uh, this goes to the total today on this one. And this was the this is the one that faces west. Mm -hmm. So today we're at six kilowatts, and that's this is the least producer because it faces straight west. Okay, those are. I think this is one. I think I just saw that. And that one is the the one with the most today because that one's the one that faces east. And basically south, so so south southeast. So, so but it's base, it's virtually flat up on the roof. So so let's see here. So this is the one that we're going to take and we're going to put up on the high roof, so that way we get the most out of all, all of those. So things. making four hundred and sixty one, and the total is one hundred and what? It's twelve thousand, right? This is one kilowatt already. Yep. So let's see. One What's kilowatts the, today. We installed this system, folks. Um, that's the date right there. I marked it. And that's the other date I marked it. So this one was installed before that. 2016 to 8. So basically, it's just over a year ago. Yep. Yeah, about a few days ago. So look at that. And let's see the total we just... Uh, he told uh, 1,231 kilowatts. 1,231 kilowatt. And this one. We just, just, oh, it'll, it'll flash to it. Yeah. And this one is, uh, let's go, come on, come on. This is the one, the least one. We're going to be uh, fixing some work here, folks, because of the panels are tilt. And 876 kilowatt hours. And let's check out this one and see. This is the, the first system we installed before them two came in. And you guys can see for yourself. Whoa. 118? 1808 yeah 1808 kilowatt so just between the two the two that were done originally uh or close to being original date so those two are produced, they produced yeah 3000 kilowatts so year. this is the system you guys but we we tied with the uh, they're getting tired with the uh, power company which we're going to be fixing and uh too much harassment for something they don't want to sell the power and they harass them, and we're gonna put batteries. They're gonna be sitting there, or maybe somewhere in the barn. So, folks, this is the system. You do your calculation, solar works, and keep doing a good job because we're gonna be working on the system out there. Let's go. <laughs> on right, look what you found right there. The, it's a toad. He grabbed the toad, started peeing already. Oh, you guys just missed that. That's the defense mechanism. <laughs> oh, <a little> pee. <laughs> oh boy. You don't like this, but we're gonna go take you over here and put you in the place you like. You got a toad. He messed with all this stuff here. Everything is like his buddies. <laughs> and the chickens are doing way good, folks. He got a lot of chickens. How many more you ju you just got? Twenty. 20 more chickens? Yep, we got 20 new ones now. 20 new more chickens and yeah. more eggs. And Joanne is working more in the garden. Oh, you got, you got no? Good. They're going to be extending. This group of chickens is going to be 
chickens, chickens. Lay anything on the ground. They, oh. They lay all in the nest. These are the smart ones. Uh -huh. Look. Look at all the eggs. So folks. we got and they're they're only they're only dirty because they, they it's been so muddy lately they can't get anywhere or do anything without getting there. So they're gonna be extending this uh chicken house to uh, actually just to run. So that's yeah, so that they can have a place to run around. Look at that. Digging right, around. So things. we can go up there before the weather started going really crazy see the clouds right there you guys just saw the power we just generated if we put the power all together i think it's bringing approximately two point something kilowatt right now look at all the clouds well this is minnesota folks we're losing the summer and look at all this and this guy's producing power so we're going down we're going up sorry these are this panel you guys remember this view these panels gonna be going right up on top because uh, he was assuming because Clem said you get more power here because of the sun, the way he was looking at it, the way solar analyzes power, the way solar generates its power is different according to your eyes. So you better use the real tool. You want them here, but now today we're changing. We put them all the way on the top where the other ones are. I'll go up there. You remember this place? This is right over there, Johnny. Can you hook this one? Oh, the wire? Yeah, so I can slide down the Yeah, so, folks, uh, do you have a little, like, a flat? This has a security thing on it. Yep. Have to take. Or maybe a long nose flyer. Yep, we got that. So folks, this is, we're thinking about extending here before, but now we're going up because that's the inverter that just made the 800 and something, 840 kilowatt. So these are the panels here. So all the panels gonna come back up here now. These are the ones I've been producing. Um, no, these are the first panels we install. So they've been producing a lot of energy, <clears throat> the uh, 100 and something, 188 something kilowatt. You rewind the video and look at it. This is the second one that was uh, the second highest. So we're going to be bringing the panels up there, four panels up there, add them up. So too much harassment from the... Uh, electric company because they why the kilowatt hours um the consuming at the house they used to pay over three hundred dollars on electricity but now they are not paying that amount anymore so the electric company is mad at them because they don't want to sell the power so they're giving them all kind of headache so it's about things about time for us or for them to pull the plug and go off grid completely with no headache as I'm walking down here you guys can see so there we go folks the panel is gonna come here maybe two panels here and two panels here and another two over there that gives us all the power and thank you guys and uh, stay tuned for more video as uh, climb is coming up look at all those chickens running around there they have a free place to run around it's just too beautiful well, this is the clouds, this is the skies, and this is how everything is going. Look over there, that's where the sun is hiding right now. These panels are doing a pretty good job. <clears throat> Folks, if you don't know the specification of these panels, there is 320 watts of solar panels I have here, which uh, they have a 12 modules here. All right. Please subscribe, like, and share from the channel, JW Solar USA.
Thanks for watching. So all the panels are here, 12 panels, 320 watt solar panels multiplied by 12. 320 times 12 is going to give you approximately 3,870 kilowatt hours up here. So these ones are all going to be transformed into um, off-grid system. It's going to go all in the battery by God's grace. So we're hoping. So... Well, I'm not even sure yet uh, if we're going to go with 12 or 24, uh, 24 volt, sorry, 24 volt or 48 volt system. You guys tell me what you think. And uh, I think 48 volt would be the best to go. But trying to keep these guys away from buying too much batteries to power the entire house. He has this panel can power his entire house. Okay. From the barn. From the barn. <clears throat> so this is what we want to do. And... Uh, Give me your thoughts uh, about this uh, entire thing. So those two panels, like the last two panels is clean right there. They titled with the ones on the right two uh, last ones to go on one controller. Okay, to a great, great tight inverter. It'll be interesting to see what those four panels produce as opposed to four on one side and four on the other. Facing on the same direction. Yep, facing the same direction. Whether, they're, whether they'll catch up, whether there'll be more, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll see how things go because um, it will never ca ca uh, cut up because of uh, 12 something, 1200 and uh, uh, 1,332 kilowatts minus 876 kilowatt so you talking about uh i'm just thinking about about three three thousand something difference here yeah. i'm just thinking about catch up as far as whether these four panels during the course of the day will produce as much as equivalent four to on this one side or those four on that side uh, accumulate as much as having two on one side two on the other i don't know so yeah well if it was on uh, a serious parallel it will work because during the morning hours, this one will catch up, you know, for when, like if it's a, we tie them in twos going on the batteries. So those two is a separate thing. Those two covered, those two still going to work. So if two covered from here from snow dust, those other ones are down. So <laughs> let's see. We can see maybe uh, around the fall when I got off on vacation, I will stop back and sign to see, read the numbers, what I have right now here from the video. And... The numbers that uh, we already have if you see um, any any <laughs> if they're trying to cut up but it's not easy because these ones are facing some of them are facing dead one angle and other ones are all the other angle so those are the two that's gonna be be really interesting to see <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting but uh, so far so good. I think we're still gonna do fine. It's pounding on each, instead of this waking up uh, around getting the sun directly into this, producing the power, and this one's gonna be during the day in the morning hours. Where by the time they uh, wake up, those two already started producing to compensate with those. By the time it hits there, well, it's still gonna be fine. Okay, Martin's got to save you. Let's go. So we gotta go now. The panels are kind of a little bit. Uh, clean as Clem said it's clean <laughs> For me, I would have scrubbed them, but this is the way is a year you never wash them So they just took a dusty just like dusting them off. It's not scrubbing them. It's not taking a bath They took a shower Just a shower. Look at that water. It's dirty Yeah, well anyway, this is the distance here. Look at the farm over there. Look how the clouds are all dark <clears throat> the sun is right there and it's going to be pounding on these panels right here this array is going to be doing pretty good which is the one with the, the highest number 1808 still going to do it and the other ones over there those two is interesting to see but we don't want to take all these railings here and screw them which we're still going to be keeping these rails here and put four panels here for the next um those are the ones going to be feeding. We're taking two inverters off the grid and put them off grid to go on the batteries. All these three arrays going to go, these three arrays here is going to go on the batteries. 12 panels, 3,870 watt approximate is going through the batteries while we're going to be setting up 
four other mm -hmm. panels here get rid of the two uh, 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 grid tight inverters and one is gonna stay to cover up this one just to compensate for the house if he's trying to charge the batteries on bad weather so he can just borrow 100% from the grid if uh, he's borrowing like a let me say a 1200 from the grid then he can able to um, he can able to uh, uh, take probably if the panels are producing a five or six hundred watt. So he's borrowing only six hundred watt from the grid. That's the, this is the entire plan. So the pond and everything is gonna go through these panels here, but this one's gonna stay deadly for batteries. It's gonna stay there. So those two panels crisscross. They have a plan. So it's gonna be these panels are forty six point seven volts each at uh, eight point something to nine amps. So if we tie them in twos or in threes, depends to the, uh, the, the, the charge control I'm gonna be using. And it's still gonna be perfect for 24 volt and even a 48 volt because those two panels are gonna be bringing you very close to 96 volt. 96 volt and we're gonna be bringing more amps. Okay? All right, from St. Croix, trail jw solar usa i'm going home look at all those tomatoes they're doing pretty good the chickens are running around mama was around papa was around they make them happy so what do you think about the install i think it takes a big dog to weigh a ton okay <laughs> <laughs> all right the folks install is great. all right, right. get them up get them on the top back up where they're supposed to be and uh maybe i'll wind up pulling those and putting those down the middle too. I oh. may wind up pulling those off and putting them up there. Or oh, pulling this, or you want to still keep them for the, uh, the for the for the grid tie system if we're going batteries. Ah, I don't think so. I think what, whatever we do, we'll uh, we'll do from from up on top. From the top. Because this is always going to be in the shade in the fall. Okay. By three o'clock in the afternoon in the fall, it's already hitting shade right here. Okay, the so trees grew another foot this year though it's thinking rain. Alright. <laughs> so that again no, this is the, the plan. So he, 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 we have to do this sometime and uh you gotta seal up those holes. We take back all those railings. We have more room. More room. You can see that. Look at one set there and look at the room all the way there left. It's almost uh one and a half. Of it, so it's gonna fill up another one. Says get all the panels for grid tide or whatever you wanna do. All right, so, so, hand me that piano. Hand you what? Hand me that piano. All right. So we are done and heading home. And folks, I'm gonna be collecting some eggs. <laughs> uh, they told me you can have all the eggs. They're tired of eating eggs. They're tired of this. That's trying to donate them and whatever. So they picked them up already. I know my eggs are waiting for me right over there, the house. So uh, I'll let you guys know how everything is working. It's gonna give me updates more when we meet, how everything is uh, working with the uh, upgrade we just did. Thanks for watching and always uh, being part of the channel. And you're going to be giving me some updates, whatever power we're producing, or you're going to be making from those crisscross panels we made there. Indeed. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.